My first story is actually going to be right here in the solar system. Last, uh, last January, I actually reported on uh, some pretty convincing evidence that there is a Planet Nine out in our solar system, uh, reported by uh, um, Badigan, what was his name? Uh, Constantine Badigan and Michael Brown. Michael Brown is famous for having killed Pluto. And uh, he had discovered objects out in the far distances of the solar system that uh, indicated that, you know, Pluto there was just one of many objects like it. And it ultimately got demoted. But he's also the one who has looked at some evidence that has uh, shown that there quite possibly is a large uh, truly classifiable planet out in the outer solar system. And back in January, the argument was if you looked at the most distant, uh, what we call Kuiper Belt objects, uh, which are shown here in this uh, kind of magenta purple color here, you'll notice that they have all these elliptical orbits that go off in one direction around the sun. And these are really, really distant objects that don't get close enough to the outermost uh, uh, gravitational planets like uh, Neptune and Uranus, or, or Neptune, that they should be influenced by those. So why were all of these orbits going off essentially to one direction? Well, you could argue that the chances of this is very, very small. In fact, like 0.01% chance that this would be the case. So the proposition was that there's this planet nine that is here that has kind of the opposite orbit here. And so anyway, that was uh, what they announced in January. And I've got a couple stories that are, are related to uh, this this finding that strengthen uh, the case. The other thing that the uh, th that announcement had also predicted, here is again those uh, Kuiper belt objects and things, but there's also this known class of uh, objects that had a perpendicular orbit. And this Planet 9 would explain that as well. And the uh, let me just go back to here. At that time, uh, the orbital period is about 10 to 20,000 years. We thought it was going to be, uh, it has to have a mass of about 10 times that of Earth and uh, orbits about 200 AU. Astronomical units, the distance between the Earth and the Sun is 1 AU. Um, uh, just to give you a, a perspective on the size there. We started off in our solar system, we'll go out to the giant planets out to Neptune here, and then we'll have to go further out to see where these other objects are. Okay, so they're very far out in, this, uh, in the solar system here. They call them trans-Neptunian uh, orbits, and there's uh, planet nine there. Oops. So what this month's study did is that they looked in more detail at these six uh, of uh, orbits right here. And in addition to not them being out in these same directions, they also uh, postulated that they must be in some sort of resonance with Planet Nine. Otherwise, if they got close to Planet Nine when Planet Nine was at its closest approach here, they could get kicked out of the solar system. So they looked at the resonance uh, situation and indeed found that there is a potential re resonance for these planets. And so here are the six objects they are looking at. And this shows a resonance to some value. So this is one and a half to one, which would indicate a three to two Reson resonance for Sedna. And what that means is that every three times that Sedna would go around, uh, the, this other object would go around twice or vice versa. And uh, here's a more distant one. It's a nine to one resonance. And so if you have a resonance like that, every time uh, they come around, then they won't be close to one another. They'll be in opposite ends of the orbit. Same thing happens with Pluto and Neptune. Pluto actually crosses Neptune's orbit, and they're in a three to two rate of resonance, and therefore uh, uh, Pluto has never been uh, kicked out. And so you can see they lie very close to these resonance lines, and so it's very intriguing to, uh, to postulate this, and it gives firmer evidence that there is indeed this planet out there. They confirm that it also needs to have this influence about at least 10 times the mass of the Earth, 
Uh, they are also able to have a couple models of what inclination it's going to be in. And so here this is actually a reference frame of declination and right ascension. This is relative to the spin axes of the, of the Earth. And they found that there were two zones that this could lie in on the sky here. And where you see these green areas here on this trajectory, or the red ones on here, indicate the where the planet could be based on these resonances and models. So it further confines where this planet actually might be. And I'll say a little bit more about that in the, here in the next slide. So the, so that's their, what they had indicated in that uh, article. But then another one that came out was from Michael Brown and Constantine uh, uh, Batigan, who uh, were looking at you know, how it influenced these uh, outer objects and realized, well, this is going to influence the sun as well. The sun is the most massive object in our solar system, yet there's been this peculiarity for many, you know, f since we've studied it, that the sun's tilt axis relative to the plane of which all the planets go around on the inner orbit here is tilted off six degrees. And so what could have caused that? Well, they looked at, did some calculations, and their planet nine can actually do that. Now, it's way out here in the orbit, but it has a substantial uh, mass. And because it's way out here, it has a big lever arm in terms of angular momentum. And it can cause this thing to uh, uh, tilt. Now, they didn't give a lot of specifics. This was just announced a few days ago or about a week ago. And it didn't reference the other article that had come out as well. So they, they're pinning down the possible location of this uh, planet more and more. And I'd like to see over probably the next month or two, I assume by like the January meeting for the American Astronomical Society, they will know uh, in more detail uh, how those two measurements confine where the planet is. Michael Brown thinks that they, by late, uh, about a year from now, they think they will have discovered it. They really sound positive about this being out there, but it is not out there yet. It's only in the calculator right now, okay? And it's gonna be, it, if they find it, it's gonna be a very, very exciting find. I mean, at 10 times the mass of the Earth, most of the planets that we have found out there in the solar system, out beyond you know our, our own solar system, are in this mass range. They're the most common planet, yet we don't, well, we don't think we had one in our own solar system. Well, we might actually have one. So uh, once we actually pin that down, there's gonna be a lot of more work to see if it does indeed explain all these other characteristics like the tilt of the sun.